and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss the question. State whether the following are true or false. Justify your answer. Part 1. The value of 10A is always less than 1. Part 2. Secant A is equal to 12 over 5 for some value of angle A. Part 3. Cos A is the abbreviation used for the cosecant of angle A. Part 4. Cot A is the product of cot and A. 5. Sin theta is equal to 4 over 3 for some angle theta. So let's start the solution. Part 1. Now tan A is equal to side opposite to angle A. upon side adjacent to angle A now side opposite to angle A can be greater than side adjacent to angle A so in that case the value of tan A will be greater than 1 hence the value of tan A is always less than 1 is an incorrect statement Hence, the answer for the above part is false. Part 2 Now we know that secant A is equal to hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle A. Now, in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse is the longest side. And also we are given secant A is equal to 12 over 5. And 12 is greater than 5. Therefore, the given statement is true. Hence, the answer for the above part is true. Let's move to the part 3. Cos is the abbreviation. used for cosine of angle A. It is, it is cosine of angle A. But in the question it is given, cos A is the abbreviation used for the cosecant of angle A. Hence, the given statement is incorrect and the answer for the above part is false. Let's move to the part 4. Part 4. Cot is the abbreviation used for cotangent of angle A. It is not the product of cot and A because cot separated from A has no meaning. Hence, the answer for the above part is false. Part 5. Now, sin theta is equal to side opposite to angle theta. Upon hypotenuse and we know that hypotenuse is the 
longest side in a right angle triangle and but we are given sin theta is equal to 4 over 3 this implies side opposite to angle theta is greater than hypotenuse which is incorrect hence the answer for the above part is false I hope the question is clear to you. Bye and take care.